got her back from this old farm. And uh, today, we're uh, up before Ricky actually is for once. Oh, he sleep, must be sleeping in or something. Probably a good thing. He kind of needs it. But uh, this mess. It's all ice out here. It's just kind of nasty. Everything decided to melt a little bit last week, and now it's all frozen back up because the temperatures dropped and we're supposed to get snow on Monday and stuff. It's just... It's a mess. But anyways, we have to, first thing this morning, we have to go through and unload this. This is supplies for the uh, apartment project. We got some uh, pink foam insulation there to put on, on the north wall here, up against there, and on the west wall. So we got that, and then we got 60 more 2x4s that are going to get used for framing in that north and west wall. What we're going to do, I'll go upstairs and show you. First of all, the reason we have to unload that is because we might have to run to Duluth and pick up something for the tractor shop. And it's the right price of free. We like free things. So, uh, well, uh, hopefully that works out. But, uh, so kind of what the idea is up here is that we're going to put we'll put that pink foam insulation in between these spaces that's inch and a half uh, thickness so it should fit within the width of the board here it shouldn't stand any further out than these boards and then what we're going to do is we're going to take and frame in walls inside of these the six by six posts here that are what hold up the uh, the pole barn so uh, last week there I think we showed you we got the bathroom sort of fit it in um, closet area of course I got to thinking and thought I goofed up I thought I needed a light switch over here for the to run over because there's gonna be a light in the closet well I my brain is not firing on all cylinders I don't need one over here probably need one over here to uh, depending on how the door opens or what I do we'll see but uh, anyways so yeah we're gonna there's gonna be pink pink foam insulation spit it out on that wall and then on that wall and uh and then we'll stud it in and then we'll do our our batting insulation like we did on these ones of course we still have to do our uh window cut out here um might do that this weekend we'll see i don't know because i think we have the ladder i think we have the ladder back our issue last weekend was we didn't have the large ladder because we had a cow hanging on it. Yeah, you can see that the, the ladder is uh, no longer being used as a hanging support, so we can cut in our our window uh, or hang our window, I should say, with the ladder. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that. So I'm gonna get I gotta get the truck unloaded because, like I said, we might have to run to Duluth. That should be exciting. So that's an two hours of the day killed right there but uh it's worth it because it's something i want for the tractor shop and especially considering that it's free you can't pass up that kind of stuff so uh i'll get this unloaded and we'll talk to you guys later i guess I didn't catch it soon enough for you. There was like five pole starts there. Oh, them huskies, they just start right up. Yeah, this is nuts. Chicken. What are you guys doing? Huh? You slept buried all night? Big pigs. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Nasty. 
chickens. I seem to be showing you guys what we're making for breakfast every morning. Ooh. Cinnamon rolls. All right, well, now that breakfast is done, we're uh, headed up to the pole barn. We got the uh, the large square here. And uh, we're gonna work on the pink foam insulation a little bit. I gotta throw a couple two by fours back into the truck. Uh, for that thing where you gotta go pick up, but uh, we'll deal with that in a little bit, I guess. I'm gonna bring this upstairs, and then uh, I guess we'll grab some pink foam insulation, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can create up here. Well, there we go. We got some pink foam in that cavity. We've got our some framing up for the window. That's going to be where the window goes. It'll run from, uh, I think it was the bottom of this board up to here, I think, is what it is. I don't entirely remember. It's a thirty, another 3x3 three three window, 36 inch by 36 inch. Um, same as what's going to be in that spot. So, yeah, there's one right there on the other side of the tripod. That's, that's the one for that one. Well, it doesn't matter. They're both just on the package, but whatever. Um... So, we're going to continue on here, I guess. Um, I'll put some pink foam in these cavities here. Um, maybe I'll leave, that, I'll leave that top row. This was one sheet here. There was one tear sheet in these three spots. So, maybe what I'll do now is I'll go into the bathroom here and start over here and run one, two, three that way. We'll see uh, what we come up with, and then uh, maybe we'll go over here. I don't know. Rick's got to explain more on the window frame. I don't entirely know what all is going on there, so he's got to explain a little bit more there, but uh, we'll hit that roadblock when we hit it. Well, Connor made an oopsie poopsie. Uh, we had the boards behind, so we got our long ones here on either side. Well, we had boards on the back side of there. I think you guys kind of saw that. Well, I, that was a misunderstanding on my part. They should have been on this side. And now we're going to cut board that runs same as this one here underneath of it, button right up to the bottom so that when we go to do the window, this one can get cut out. Uh, we did get the insulation in over here in the bathroom area. So now we're going to go through and cut and do our stuff for this area. And uh, we'll just put in you know, temporary pieces. Well, not there yet, but temporary piece here and here. And uh, when we go to put the window in, we'll just pull that out and dispose of it or whatever we decide to do. But you can already tell it. I can. Well, you guys can't, but I can already tell it's getting. It feels warmer in here in this in the apartment area than say on the other side or whatever. If you went outside, it's it's actually kind of kind of hot in here so we got the solar of the sun off of the off of the roof coming down and then of course we got you know wind break and that's holding heat in so it's already kind of warming up in here it's nice well there's one wall pretty much done I'm gonna do up the other wall because it's a little bit got a little bit different uh, deal going on there and then we'll see if we after we get this wall done we'll see if we have any kind of scraps that fit up in there or if I'm gonna have to cut up another one we'll see what we got to do but I want to get the majority of that wall done before we start goofing around with filling in gap that little weird gap up above so we are making progress so uh Connor may have got a little distracted from the apartment um, I'll show you in a second here I took down the uh, the overhead door mechanism, kind of. It's still hung on by the little bracket up front that holds the rod up, but it didn't hurt the airboat, luckily. I got it off to the side without it 
doing any damage to it, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, it's almost three quarter after three, which is I gotta leave here about three fifteen to go get that that thing for the tractor shop. So uh, we got some two by fours to help us load it, and uh, I guess we'll uh, see what we come up with. I probably well we'll see about videoing there or not. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of filming on other people's property, so because I don't know what their thoughts are on that. So yeah, we'll see what we uh, come up with next. I guess either it'll be there or on the road again. Well, all weekend it seems like I've been misfiring. Um, so we had that screw up with the window. Uh, there was something else, I, last night I was thinking about, oh, I was telling you guys about the, uh, about the light switch for the closet that I was not thinking on. Um, now, we went up to Duluth, we, we got the, the deal, it's loaded in the back of the truck, I stopped at the grocery store, um, and I stopped at Menards, got the things I needed there. Uh, okay, good. Uh, time to head back. So I head back. I stop for gas because I needed gas. And then I got to thinking while I was pumping gas, so I forgot to stop at Best Buy for Rick. So we're headed back north again up to Duluth. Thankfully, we're on, we were only like 20 minutes away. So we're headed back to Duluth, and we're gonna stop at Best Buy get Rick his charger thing for his batteries for his GoPro because GoPro decided to change the design on the batteries, and the old style charger doesn't work on the new style batteries. So. We're headed back up, we'll get him his thingy, and then we can head back down to home. Well, uh, here we are. We're back to the farm, and... Well, it's kind of dark. Uh, you guys might be able to see or not. But uh, this is what we got. It is a metal podium. Uh, workbench podium deal. This is... Uh, I have We have one of these at where I work at, and... I thought this would be kind of nice for the tractor workshop to, yeah, you're not going to really be able to see it. Um, Alright, we're going to go dark for a minute. I'll talk to you still while we're uh, walking in the dark. But uh, I thought this would be, I thought it would be nice for a uh, kind of a, I don't know, a workbench, like a, it's, what I'd like to do is set the laptop on it and then what my plan was was to go to Fleet Farm and get, they have an international harvester farm all stool and uh, get that for it and uh, be able to set up the laptop on there and do live streams and, and uh, I'd have my have my um, manuals and such on there and you know, just kind of, kind of, be able to make things work all right, and and kind of, just nicer for when we get to that point. But uh, being that it was free, I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. It's what I wanted, and we'll be able to make her work. But my dog, huh? what? Are you hot? So, uh, anyways, we're back to the farm. Uh, I don't think there's much else that's going to happen tonight. So. I guess if we see again, we see again, but likely not, so I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you back next time, I guess, hopefully.